when you have a tumor we are removing all of this this is taken out completely from as far as the base of the tongue the voice box and even the top part of the trachea that's removed completely prior to me taking over as head of department in, in Grace Hospital ENT none of our patients were reconstructed so they would have a laryngectomy they would have a pat on the back and goodbye that's it um, we did your operation you don't have a tumor you will be happy to discharge you. <coughs> there was a certain need for a few things. Number one is to reconstruct operations. Um, the support group was was started one to try and start offering vocal rehabilitation for the patients, so to try and give them new ways of, of talking um, and and communicating. Um, and then the other reason that the group also started was also just so that um, people that had had laryngectomies could could meet other people because it's quite a rare, um, particularly within Kim, in Peter Marisburg, it's it's not every day that you're meeting a person that's got a tracheostomy or has had a laryngectomy. So. We wanted them to be able to meet with other people and they can chat chat through issues that they're finding at home and just getting support support from each other.